What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE and AEW action figure news, man. Some good stuff to cover here today, and I'm very excited for it, man. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it today. Let's start things off with a figure that we saw back at the Superstore at WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles, California. Still editing my vlog, by the way. By God, it was a lot of footage. It was a lot of things to, to put in there and edit up and get in there and even having to release individual videos. I didn't even even realize I had individual v videos within the video, but my lord. Hopefully that'll be up this weekend or just after the weekend. I'm working every day on that. Still have the ranking of Elite Series 1 through 100. We have the pick fed. We have lots of big projects taking up a lot of storage on the computer, so I'm slowly trying to get those done. But let's dive in, man, to the Ultimate Edition. WWE Ultimate Edition Series 17, Seth freaking Rollins. We have Seth Rollins right here, Ultimate Edition Seth. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think he kind of looked better in the case in person so that's probably what we're going to be looking at like at least that's my storyline for this figure if you had to lay out a storyline for each individual figure you know just for for just some context on what i'm saying here the storyline for this figure is will it be better in person similar to what we saw at the superstore compared to how we see the mock images you got the randy orton figure with the wide open face head sculpt is that going to be improved in person you got the rvd ultimate with the weird head sculpt so there's lots of storylines going on with these figures but this ultimate edition seth rollins figure Gear, does not have the robe on in package. I think, I don't know, man. I think the robe on this figure makes it look a whole lot better. The weird vibes I'm getting from this figure, though, is it looks like it's skinny, doesn't it? It looks like it's got a lot more, it's it's a lot thinner or it's a lot leaner than it appeared to be in the past. Like, it looks like his elites are thicker than this. You know what I mean? Like, his legs, his torso, all those different things. I mean, it remains to be seen. We don't have it in hand yet. I can't make a judgment based off this. Zoomed out. You know, it's got plastic in front of him. He He's encased in the shell there. We've never seen loose images of this. Maybe at the time of recording this, there's no loose images, but maybe at the after I've posted this, maybe there's already been images revealed or something like that, and hopefully that'll come soon. If Wrestling Shop here, Wrestling Shop UK, has these photos, I would imagine that any day now, we're probably going to have loose images from Ringside Collectibles and things of that nature, and it should be very nice. But I, for one, at least from my where I'm sitting right now, to me, this figure looks better in person than in this mock image that I'm seeing right here. You know, you're gonna have the pinless joints, you're gonna have all that. I feel like the chest hair looks a bit weird. It looks like they, I don't know if they use the exact same, I think they did use the exact same chest hair decal, or it looks, uh, it, it looks mostly like it on this Ultimate Edition torso. Maybe that's throwing it off a little bit. I don't know. It just seems like he looks a bit lean here, but that remains to be seen. We'll have to look at that when we get it in hand and, you know, uh, get a review in there and all those different things. We haven't seen Andre yet. Lots of different things, but I imagine this is probably going to be in person very soon and they'll have images to show us, but we also got to see the Blood and Guts ringside exclusive dog collar match two-pack between MJF and CM Punk, man. If we're looking at this packaging, it looks exactly like I thought it would would when we first saw the render images of this thing. They're in the dog collar packaging. They have the dog collar actually attached to both of them. They're both a bloody mess. You've got the grunginess. This thing looks insane. I think it looks great. I always love the packaging that Jazzwares gives us for these things. I like the chains going through. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think they could have added more chains. You know, uh, through the bottom of it there with the text, you have all the chains going through. I feel like that should be on the sides as well, but I still like the packaging. I think it's a really cool addition. You have the accessories to displayed in the side panels there. You got the MJF yelling head sculpt, the taped hands, the CM Punk bloody head sculpt with his mouth wide open. Looks like it's out of a Friday the 13th or a damn Evil Dead movie. You know what I mean? It looks insanity. But this should be a really cool two-pack. I'm really excited to get this one in hand. Since we're getting loose images of it, does that mean that it's going to be in hand very soon? Hopefully that is the case because it looks great. I like the, the silver paint, or not the silver paint. It's obviously green, you dumb idiot. The metallic green paint that you got going on on this MJF looks great. I like the blood on there. This is cool. I even like how grungy CM Punk shorts look. It's just, it's just a great looking pack. I like it. Hopefully we can get a pack or these guys in this gear without the blood. That is something I'd like to see. I feel like MJF's would probably be a lot more simple than CM Punk's, but I don't know. You might could... I, I don't know. I don't know if the, the acetone would take off the blood. It'd probably look weird if you got done with it, but pair that with an unmatched Punk. Maybe you can do something with that, but the Blood and Guts dog collar match of the two pack here looks really, really good. I'm enjoying it. Can't wait to get it in hand. But then we also had the ringside exclusive announcers commentating set pack with the AEW announce table desk. You have all these 
monitors, you have the headphones. One thing that I think is such a cool detail is not only do you have the monitors there, but you also have this little hook underneath the desk that has the headphones on there. Now, will the headphones actually fit the figures? That's going to be its own deal. Like, are the headsets actually going to go on the figures and look okay and look aesthetic and all those different things? I still haven't even gotten my Excalibur loose version. I never reviewed the figure, I never got it and reviewed it, I received the figure and then I just put it up on the wall. So I have the Tony Schiavone, I have the Jim Ross, I got the Men on Card set and the loose set of those. I need a loose Excalibur so that I can put it with my JR and my Tony Schiavone. Now again, I did say that I am moving houses very soon, I think through the summer and we're working out the details right now. But we're going to have a brand new office, and with a brand new office with a lot more space than this current office that I'm sitting in, I am going to be able to upgrade my display so much more, man. I'm going to actually have some space possibly for some shelving to put up some actual displays, maybe have some like different action sequences and poses. I actually get to put up my DBZ figures, my Spider-Man stuff, my Marvel stuff. Like, it's going to be a lot better. It's going to take a lot of time to set up, but... I hopefully, by the summertime, I'll be able to do a really in-depth, detailed room tour for the MDT YouTube channel and all that stuff and have, like, an actual room that is upgraded from what my current room is. We've spent a lot of time in here, man. It seems like yesterday I uploaded a video doing the, like, move-in of this house. I think it was way back in, like, 2018, maybe, something like that, man. So we have done, the channel has done a lot of things out of this room right here. So it's just really crazy to see and be a part of moving to another another room because it started way back at another room and then we moved to that room we've been in this current room for a long time so getting into another room is a very big step and I'm excited to do so but I will bring you guys along with me for the journey but that is all the figure news that we had today man we have all of this stuff here as you guys can see we had the Seth Rollins action figure we had the CM Punk and the MJF dog collar two pack and we have the AEW commentary set I think the AEW commentary sets really underrated I, I think that it's gonna be a great piece I think you're gonna be able to use this and customize it so you know you could take this I'm definitely gonna be grabbing a couple of these I mean you could acetone the AEW logos off the back of the monitors put your own logos on there acetone the AEW off the front there put your own logo there I mean d depending on how this thing is it might replace my current commentary table in the pick fed it might replace maybe it could go as other things you have this backdrop here that can use you can use that as a uh, as a as a media scrum or something like that you can put your own now that's that's another big question it looks like it's cloth here and it looks like you like remove the poles and uh, the bottom squares of that and then you just like slide it on there is what it looks like so hopefully you know maybe we can get some people to make us our own custom cloth banners would be sick like have some MDT logos make it like pink and have like MDT logos all over it that would be really really sweet so that's definitely something that we're going to be in the works with and doing all that stuff but this is a cool set I like it a lot and hopefully we can make it happen man but that is pretty much going to wrap up the news video, kind of a, not like a, I guess not necessarily a light news day, but it's not like, you know, a, it's nothing compared to Wrestlemania where we had like 600 images to go through, and I'm sitting here for an hour talking about all the different images, we just have the little stuff here, but I would love to know what you guys think of the Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition, what you guys think of the AEW Dog collar match two pack and what you guys think of the commentator set let me know all those things down in the comment section below are these things must grab for you ultimate edition bret hart coming soon new legends reviews i got the two walmart exclusive aew figures and mjf and wardlow wrestlemania vlogs and lots of other projects coming man so before we get out of here man huge shout out to gavin greenlee for becoming the newest patron member. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, links in the description below. Huge shout out to Gavin for becoming a patron and a huge shout out to our other patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate you guys every single day. That is going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>